So to create an export of your course, first of all, go into the course that has the content you want. An obvious first step, but I'll say it anyway. Open up the Packages and Utilities section of your control panel and choose Export Archive Course. Chances are there's nothing already on that screen. So what you'll want to do is click Export Package and it'll show you which course you're in, that ID number. It'll be pretty meaningless, probably. Um, one thing you can check is calculate the size right off the bat. It'll tell you the maximum export file size that you could possibly generate from this course. If this number happens to show over 2.5 gigabytes, you should probably contact us for help because you're going to run into some issues. Um, okay, I'm in a good spot though. Uh, under 500 megs. So, selecting course materials, I could pick and choose among the sections that I want or just say select all, which if you're moving to a new course site is probably what you want. And a kind of a fairly new change to Blackboard, a, you have an option on the discussion board import. The default behavior is to include the first level post for each thread, but mark it as being an anonymous post so that all of your original uh, thread starters would be there, or you can choose to only bring over the forums without any posts in them at all. So if you want empty forums, choose the second one, otherwise you can leave it at the default. Um, and then you just hit submit you get a message that you're going to get an email when the process is done. So wait until you see that email. So once you've received the email, hopefully saying everything was fine, you go back into Packages and Utilities, Export Archive Course, and you'll see the export file that you created. Obviously your file name will be a bit different. And then you can just say, well, honestly, if you say to open, it just begins a download, which may be different depending on which browser you're using. Chrome puts it at the bottom, Firefox sometimes hides things up at the top, uh, all sorts of different ways that the browsers handle these. But you're going to download that file. Now it's a zip file, and it's essential that you do not open this and um, change any of the content. It's only going to be useful for pulling back into a Blackboard system. Um, of course, that's a whole other step called importing.